Pleistocene epoch, lasting from about 2.5 million to 11,700 years ago, was a time of dramatic environmental changes and challenges for early humans. In South Africa, early hominins faced a harsh and unpredictable world, characterized by volatile climates, scarce resources, and an ecosystem filled with formidable predators. Surviving such conditions required adaptability, ingenuity, and sheer resilience. Among the many dangers our ancestors encountered, one of the most terrifying they had to endure was coming face to face with Dinopithecus. The Pleistocene epoch was marked by repeated ice ages and interglacial periods, resulting in significant fluctuations in climate and landscape. While South Africa was not covered by glaciers, its climate was still affected by global cooling events. Early humans had to contend with periods of aridity, as grasslands expanded and forested areas shrank. These environmental changes drastically altered the availability of food and water, forcing hominins to adapt their behavior and develop new survival strategies. Extreme weather events, such as sudden storms and prolonged droughts, further complicated life during the Pleistocene. For early humans in South Africa, securing enough food was a daily challenge. As hunter-gatherers, they depended on the availability of edible plants, fruits, nuts, and animals. However, the Pleistocene's seasonal variability meant that resources were not consistently available. During dry seasons or droughts, plant life would dwindle, forcing humans to rely more heavily on hunting. This posed its own difficulties, as hunting required skill, coordination, and tools that were still rudimentary during much of the Pleistocene. Among the many predators that early humans faced, one of the most terrifying was Dinopithecus, an extinct genus of very large primates closely related to modern baboons. Living during the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs in regions including South Africa, Dinopithecus was a formidable adversary. Males of the species were estimated to stand approximately 1.5 meters or five feet tall at the shoulder, making them nearly twice the size of the largest baboons alive today. Unlike modern baboons, which primarily scavenge and forage, Dinopithecus is believed to have had a more carnivorous diet. Researchers have estimated that just 2% of their diet consisted of plants. Fossil evidence suggests that these massive primates were aggressive and opportunistic predators, capable of hunting a range of prey, including small and medium-sized mammals. For early humans, the sheer size and strength of Dinopithecus would have made direct encounters deadly. The powerful jaws and sharp teeth of these primates, combined with their speed and agility, made them a threat both in open grasslands and near forested areas. To avoid such predators, early humans likely relied on their growing intelligence and social organization. Living in groups provided mutual protection, while the development of tools and weapons gave humans a means to defend themselves. Fire, once mastered, may have served as a deterrent to predators, keeping them at bay during the night. Even so, the looming presence of Dinopithecus and other large predators would have been a constant source of fear, shaping the behavior and decision-making of early human communities. The challenges of the Pleistocene were formidable, but they also played a crucial role in shaping the evolutionary trajectory of early humans. Environmental hazards forced humans to develop tools adapt their diets, and expand their range in search of more hospitable environments. The scarcity of food encouraged cooperation and the sharing of resources, laying the foundation for the complex social structures seen in later human societies. Predators like Dinopithecus added another dimension to the struggle for survival. Early humans had to develop strategies to minimize risk, such as avoiding known predator territories, using natural shelters like caves, and working together to ward off attacks. Over time, these strategies would contribute to the development of intelligence, problem-solving abilities, and group cohesion. To understand the potential threat posed by Dinopithecus, researchers have examined the behavior of modern primates. In India, troops of rhesus macaques and grey langurs have been observed attacking young children, sometimes with fatal outcomes. These attacks are often opportunistic, driven by competition for food or territorial disputes. The intelligence and social structure of these primates allow them to coordinate attacks and exploit weaknesses in human defenses, 
particularly when adults are not nearby. Modern baboons, though smaller than Dinopithecus, exhibit similarly aggressive and opportunistic behavior. They are known to raid farms, attack domestic animals, and confront humans, particularly in rural areas where food scarcity drives conflict. These behaviors demonstrate that primates are capable of identifying vulnerable targets, a trait that Dinopithecus likely shared and possibly amplified given its size and strength. Unlike modern baboons, which are primarily omnivorous and rely heavily on plant material, Dinopithecus is believed to have been more carnivorous. Fossil evidence and comparative anatomy suggest that its diet included a significant proportion of meat, making it an active predator as well as a scavenger. Its powerful jaws, large canines and muscular frame equipped it to take down medium-sized prey and its intelligence would have made it a highly adaptable hunter. In the context of early human communities, Dinopithecus likely posed a significant threat. Young humans, who were smaller, slower, and less able to defend themselves, would have been especially vulnerable. Their predation might have been facilitated by the primate's ability to work in groups, as modern baboons do, using coordinated strategies to isolate and overwhelm prey. A group of Dinopithecus could have easily ambushed a young human or small group, taking advantage of their superior size and numbers. The social structure of Dinopithecus, inferred from modern baboon behavior, likely revolved around large troops that provided both protection and hunting efficiency. These troops might have employed tactics such as stalking, ambushing, and surrounding their prey. In scenarios where early humans were foraging or traveling through open landscapes, a coordinated attack by Dinopithecus could have been devastating. Ambush hunting is a common strategy among social predators. Dinopithecus troops may have used dense vegetation or rocky terrain as cover, allowing them to get close to their targets before launching an attack. Their ability to climb and leap would have enabled them to exploit vertical spaces, attacking from trees or rocky outcrops to catch early humans by surprise. In such encounters, young humans would have been the easiest targets. Their smaller size, slower speed, and lack of developed survival skills would have made them an ideal focus for predatory troops. The loss of young individuals would have been particularly devastating for early human communities, as it not only threatened the survival of the group, but also delayed the passing of knowledge and skills critical for long-term resilience. One particularly unsettling aspect of Dinopithecus is its potential for nocturnal hunting. While most modern baboons are diurnal, there are documented instances of baboons hunting during nighttime hours. This behavior is usually driven by competition for resources or a need to avoid larger predators. If Dinopithecus shared this trait, it would have made them an even more terrifying threat to early humans, who were particularly vulnerable at night. Nighttime attacks would have placed early humans at a significant disadvantage. Vision is one of humanity's primary survival tools, and limited visibility in the dark would have left them unable to detect or defend against an ambush. Early humans likely gathered around fire at night for warmth and safety, but fire might not have been a sufficient deterrent for a determined Dinopithecus troop. Their intelligence could have enabled them to work around firelight, using the cover of darkness to isolate and attack vulnerable individuals. However, our ancestors were no pushovers. The emergence of hominids posed perhaps the biggest threat to Dinopithecus. Fossils of over 90 huge baboons known as giant galadas, were discovered. These fossils have been interpreted as having been taken out between 450 and 700,000 years ago by the hominid Homo erectus. The baboons in these concentrations were mostly juvenile or sub-adult and not of mixed ages, leading to the suggestion that the Homo erectus selectively picked which baboons to take out. The question that was not known at the time, though, was whether these baboons were slaughtered in large quantities or if they were taken out gradually, maybe one every few weeks or months. The eventual extinction of this baboon may be explained if hominids were also hunting young Dinopithecus in a selective manner earlier in the Pliocene. Taking out juveniles would have been a great way to slowly decrease population sizes. The constant threat posed by predators like Dinopithecus likely had a profound impact on early human evolution. The need to defend against large primates and other predators 
would have driven the development of tools, social organization, and cognitive abilities. Group cohesion and communication would have become vital for survival, laying the foundation for complex social structures and the early stages of language development. Fear of predators also influenced early human behavior and settlement patterns. Caves and rocky shelters offered protection not only from the elements, but also from attacks by large predators. Over time, these pressures may have spurred early humans to explore new habitats, seek safer environments, and develop innovative survival strategies. Despite the hardships, early humans endured. Their resilience, adaptability, and capacity for innovation allowed them to navigate the dangers of the Pleistocene and ultimately thrive. The legacy of their struggle is evident in the traits that define humanity today. Ingenuity, cooperation, and the drive to overcome even the most daunting challenges. Early humans lived in a world teeming with predators, from saber-toothed cats and hyenas to massive cave bears. Yet, despite lacking claws, fangs, or the sheer speed of other animals, humans managed not only to survive, but to thrive, becoming one of the dominant species on the planet. How did they achieve this? The answer lies in a unique combination of physical traits, cognitive brilliance, and social behaviors that set early humans apart from every other species. These factors work together to help our ancestors avoid predation and secure their place as apex predators. One of the most significant advantages humans had over predators was their exceptional intelligence. The human brain is a marvel of evolution capable of processing complex problems, predicting threats, and devising innovative solutions. This cognitive edge, while requiring enormous amounts of energy to sustain, paid off in survival strategies that few other species could match. Early humans were creative and resourceful in using their environment to ward off predators. For instance, they likely used thorn bushes to create barriers around their sleeping areas, forming a natural fence that deterred predators. Similarly, defensible shelters like caves or high ground were sought after and modified to offer protection. Evidence from archaeological sites shows that early humans understood the strategic value of these locations, as they often positioned themselves near water and resources, but away from open terrain where they were more vulnerable. Fire, one of humanity's most transformative discoveries, became a critical tool for predator deterrence. The light, heat and smoke of a fire not only provided warmth and cooking capabilities, but also kept nocturnal predators at bay. Animals, including large carnivores, are naturally wary of fire, and early humans exploited this fear. Fire also enabled humans to stay active at night, giving them an edge over diurnal predators. Another critical survival trait was the combination of free hands and opposable thumbs. This anatomical advantage enabled early humans to throw objects, a skill few other animals possess, Throwing allowed humans to maintain distance from predators while still defending themselves effectively. Rocks, sticks, and later spears became weapons that could injure or kill predators before they got too close. A well-aimed rock could discourage an approaching lion or hyena, teaching it to avoid humans in the future. In addition to throwing, opposable thumbs allowed humans to craft and carry tools. Early humans created sharp-edged stones wooden spears and other implements that improved their ability to hunt and defend themselves. Unlike other animals, humans could transport their tools and use them whenever needed. This portability gave early humans a consistent advantage over predators who relied solely on their physical traits. The ability to carry tools also meant that humans were rarely unarmed, even when venturing away from their shelters. This constant state of readiness allowed them to respond to threats quickly and effectively further reducing their vulnerability to predators. While it may seem strange, one of the lesser known advantages early humans had was their unappealing smell and taste. Unlike musk or other strong odors that animals use as a warning, the oily, lingering scent of humans is not immediately noticeable to us, but is detectable by other animals. For predators, this smell signals that humans are not an ideal meal. While a starving predator might still attack out of desperation, most would avoid humans unless absolutely necessary. Modern studies have shown that predators tend to favor prey with a higher energy payoff. Humans, with their leaner musculature compared to herbivorous animals, simply don't offer the same caloric benefits. 
This physiological disadvantage, combined with our aggressive defense mechanisms, likely made predators think twice before targeting us. Over time, this aversion could have evolved into an instinctive wariness, further protecting humans from attacks. One of humanity's greatest assets in avoiding predation was its growing reputation as a dangerous and vengeful species. Early hominids, including Homo erectus, were not just prey, they were also hunters and eventually apex predators. They hunted large game with tools and strategies that could also be turned against any predator foolish enough to attack. When predators such as lions or wolves lost members of their packs to human spears or traps, the cost of engaging with humans became too high. Even if a predator managed to kill several humans, the retaliation from the rest of the group was often swift and brutal. Humans, unlike most prey animals, pursued revenge. They would band together to track and kill predators that had attacked their kin, ensuring that the message was clear. Targeting humans was a risky endeavor. This reputation extended to predators that might not have directly encountered humans. Over time, word of mouth communication in social predators and observation of human behaviors likely spread the knowledge that humans were not an easy meal. In modern ecosystems, similar behaviors are observed. For example, wild animals often avoid humans despite their physical superiority because they have learned that humans are dangerous. When these factors are combined, it becomes clear why early humans managed to escape predation and even thrive in a predator-filled world.